I know there's still a stage to go technically, but congratulations. The top 10 in the Tour de France, absolutely outstanding achievements. How are you feeling this evening? Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a relief, kind of getting most of the <laughs> most of the work done. There's still tomorrow, but yeah, it's been a lot of hard work and stressful, especially this last week, because you know, all the work you've done the past two weeks can just disappear if you make a mistake now. So, yeah, it's, I'm happy to, <laughs> yeah, to have finished the day with everything still intact. I'm not sure how much you've checked your phone. Um, I know that you, you are prolific on, on social media to some extent, but I mean, the response back home has, has been absolutely huge. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I, I can't read all the messages. It's just impossible. There's not en not enough time after a stage. So, yeah, I'm I'm really grateful and thanks for everyone that's sending all the messages of support. And yeah, it's it's really amazing. And yeah, it's 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 like a bonus you get out of doing the job. You, you, I'm cycling because I like it and it's it's nice. But yeah, getting all the support from back home is really encouraging. It's been one of the tightest tours in history, if not the, the closest. Uh, that GC, I think it's just over nine minutes in the differentiating the top ten riders. Just how tough has it been out there? Yeah, it's been a little bit different of a tour. It's uh, You had to really find places to make an advantage this year, whereas I think years before it was kind of just the strongest rider kind of came, came out on top, where yeah, this year it was very close. So. And uh, I mean, Chris Freeman will ride up the Champs to be said tomorrow in yellows for the title. Just a thought on him, and obviously his South African connections in particular resonating quite quite broadly back in South Africa and across the African continent. Yeah, Chris is this is the best in the one of the best in the world, and he showed it again. And uh, yeah, I think it's his capability of not making any mistakes and making sure every day everything goes right. So yeah, well done to him and. Uh, Eighth in the GC, um, and uh, it's been pretty tight, as we said. I mean, your hopes must be on a, being a future winner of this event and other Grand Tours as well, without putting too much pressure on you just yet. Uh, can you share with us what your hopes, dreams, and goals are? Yeah, winning is definitely the dream, and uh, yeah, but just also to to give it my best. I mean, there's always other competitors, and your result kind of depends more on how quick the other guy goes as to, to how quick you go. So, yeah, definitely dreaming of winning the Tour de France and yeah, trying to take the small steps to get there. How tough a sport is this? Is that, can you encapsulate that in a sentence or is it indescribable? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, more, yeah, it's like a full-time job. It's a 24-hour thing. Like the last three months, you can basically say, has been pretty much eat, sleep, cycle and just thinking to the front. So yeah, it's it's not something you can say, okay, tonight you switch off and you forget about it. So it's, yeah, it's like a 24 hour thing and mentally you just sometimes get a lot. Yeah, you have to, to really stay on top of the game the whole time, the whole time. And then when you come to the race, then there's all these small little obstacles that become really big because it's months and months of hard work and not just from yourself but from your team and everyone that supports you and yeah so just trying to keep everything together and not make any mistakes becomes really important. This year's race has been a really strong South African element not only your performance Daryl in particular has performed very well great time trial from him today yeah. as yourself and then of course uh, Team Dimension Data as well we had the win through Edvold yesterday and we know what the team represents. Um, from a South African perspective the best the biggest cycling race in the world South Africa is really making its mark isn't it? Yeah I think um, South Africa is really has arrived at world cycling I mean, you know, with, together with Dimension Data and Daryl and myself and also the other riders I mean they're going to races and not just the Tour de France other races being real contenders and playing real important factors in races so it's not like we we arrive at races just to to say that Africa is represented at the race or something like that we're going there as real contenders and yeah I think I think it'll change even more in the years to come because it looks like there's quite a few young guys coming through. The final one, congratulations again. Do you have any kind of message for your fans back home and across the world? 
yeah, I just want to say thanks for all the messages and stuff. It's, yeah, it's, it's really nice and yeah, I hope it was enough for, <laughs> for all the people supporting me.